Hey guys, Frag Guy into Card Games here, and I'm moving my notes. And I just came back from YCS Atlanta. Great time. I saw a lot of cool people there. I saw three of my subscribers, which are all just my friends who are subscribed to me. And uh, I came back with a better understanding of the game. Uh, I did okay. I'll say I did okay. I won. Uh, I won most of my games. My team did not win most of our matches, though. So um, did not make day two, but. I still think this is a competent build of Thunder Dragons, and I got a lot of help from a lot of my friends on this, uh, especially with these danger cards, which I couldn't afford until recently because I sold a bunch of stuff in Atlanta. Uh, pro tip, go to regionals or YCSs and sell all your stuff, but make sure you know the prices for them beforehand so you don't get ripped off. But that's, that's a whole nother video. Today, we are analyzing my Thunder Dragon deck that I took to YCS Atlanta. Um, this, is, this is my favorite deck right now. I like, I like, I might be a sadist, but I enjoy just summoning Colossus on the field and you can't do anything, or at least it's hard to get over now. And especially with the new Guard Dragon stuff that I'm running in this build. Yeah, I gave into the meta. I play Danger Thunder Dragon Guard Dragons now, so I'm a monster pretty much. But I enjoyed the heck out of it because it's much more interactive than it used to be, and I have... I literally locked myself out of my entire deck for a little bit with the Guard Dragon Monsters. But anyway, we're not talking about that right now. Right now, we are talking about starters, extenders, finishers, and other stuff. This is the other stuff pile. But the three main kinds of cards, I kind of hinted at this in the Salamangrate video, but I didn't really do a good job. So, the three main kinds of cards, not Monster Spells, Traps, it's the other, those are the main types of cards. But in your deck, no matter what deck you're playing, you have starters, extenders, and finishers. And the definitions of each are as follows. Starters are cards you open up in your hand, and they're necessary to start your plays. That's not to say extenders can't like be used before starters. Like, if I open up uh, Thunder Dragon and Thunder Dragon Hawk, that's a play and I don't need a starter for it, but they're technically extenders because they don't do anything on their own, if that makes sense. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, to begin, we're going to look at some starter cards in this, in this deck I have, and the first one is Allure of Darkness. I'm not going to go into all these cards and what all they do, but I'm going to hit, like, the most important ones or the best ones or the easiest ones to explain. So, Allure of Darkness... Reason this is a starter card here, let me get it under the camera. Reason this is a starter card, you play it, and you draw two cards, then you banish a card from your hand. But well, why is that a starter card? You're just drawing. Like, what? Well, the extender cards in your hand, such as, where's Roar? Here's Roar. Give me a second. That's Dark. Gosh. Okay. Uh, dark works for this, too, because it's a Dark monster. But Roar, Roar doesn't do anything on its own. Like, you can discard it, but it doesn't have a good discard effect unless you have something already banished or in the grave. But Roar, if you banish it off of Allure of Darkness, you get to summon a monster from your deck, preferably Dark. But, yeah, so Allure of Darkness, you play it, and it starts a play. And then you use your extenders, like Roar, to do your play. And then, like, you summon Dark, and then you do a roundabout, eventually activate a Thunder Dragon card in the hand, and then summon Colossus. So that's what a starter card is. A starter card is the first card is the first card you need to start a play. You don't need to play it the first on your turn, but it's the first card you need to start your play. And vicariously, extender cards are cards that you use to extend your plays. Kind of self-explanatory. So like I was talking about with Thunder Dragon Roar, which is back here, it is necessary to extend your plays further than they should be able to go. Because, you know, drawing two cards is cool. And, like, if you have a danger in hand, a bunch of the dangers are the starters in this deck. If you have a danger in hand, you can activate that and draw a card, discard a card, summon a card, draw a card. But, like, what does that really do? Like, great, you you summon Mothman. Congratulations, you have an 1800 beat stick on the, on the board. So, like, what do you even do with that? Well, what you do with that is you can like normal summon solar or do a number of other things and make a link monster but that started with mothman and you also usually get the danger to draw or if they hit the danger you're kind of messed up but anyway so the extender cards are cards that extend your plays and i'm going to use uh wyver buster like past our example so the example that i gave where a lord of darkness pitch dark i mean pitch roar banish roar summon dark and then you send Roar to the grave, 
And now you've got, I mean, you send Dark to the Grave. I'm so sorry. You send Dark to the Graveyard, and then, oh, you banish it. I have extended my play. I have summoned Wyver Buster. I am now fat farther along in my plays than I was initially. And then you go along through all your plays, and then you can make your finishers at the end. Now, these are only the main deck finishers, Duo and Diabolos. And, and Diabolos is not entirely a finisher, but it's the closest thing I had in this deck. Duo is probably the most accurate thing considering a, considered a finisher, because you want to leave this on the field if you if you don't make Colossus with it. Most of your finishers nowadays are in your extra deck over here, the green sleeves. Yeah. So, but, you know, you banish your two monsters, you summon Thunder Dragon Duo, and then you finish off your play with that, or with a Colossus, probably, but... But yeah, so starters, extenders, finishers. Starters start your plays, extenders extend your plays, finishers finish your plays. And you really, really want to have as many starters in your hand. I, uh, I, did, I did the math, and I took all these notes, and I kind of equated that I have 4%, not 4%, percent one fourth, so 25% of my deck is starters, half is extenders, uh, I think it's a 20th, 20th are finishers, and then there are these other cards, which are Call by the Grave, Infinite Impermanence, and Ash Blossom, and these are counters, and they're, they don't really play into any of the other zone, any of the other areas, like Infinite Impermanence doesn't extend your plays unless you're an Altergeist player, which I am not. And Call by the Grave doesn't extend your plays. It just prevents your opponent from causing your plays. And it's kind of a subtype, because it's not really, like, you don't want it in your hand to begin with. So it's kind of like a finisher. It's kind of like a brick. But these cards are necessary for you to have in your deck, so your opponent can't go too far off on you. Like, like you know, I start my play, use a Lure of Darkness, banish my extender, Thunder Dragon Roar. Banish my extender, Thunder Dragon Roar. And then they're like, they activate their Ash Blossom. Well, I've got a Call by the Grave in my hand as well. So when they activate Ash Blossom to negate the special summon from the deck, you hit them with Call by the Grave, and like, I've prevented your play. And those are the four subtypes of cards. And I don't know if it's a perfect system of fourth starters, half extenders. And if you only have extenders, that can sometimes work out. Like, if you have Thunder Dragon and you pitch it to the graveyard, it acts as a starter. But it's not really a pure starter because it doesn't do anything on its own. It just sits in the graveyard. And I'm talking about normal Thunder Dragon. So, yeah. I hope this video has helped y'all out. I will be doing another test hand later so like y'all can see some of this in action. But just so y'all know, starters, extenders, finishers, counters. I call these counters, but they're not like counter traps or anything. But they're just used for negates and stopping your opponent. And the way combo decks work is you play your starters, you play your extenders... And you get to your finishers, and a lot of your finishers are in your extra deck. But these are the main. I just went through the main deck today. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too rambly, and that you got out the three kinds of cards, and you want a lot of your main, main deck space dedicated to starters and extenders. All right. I will see you next time. Play on.